Dad? What is this? What are we being punished for? Can't we just scrub floors instead? <laughs> You're not being punished, but neither should the cows be. Thus, Humanios, the only cereal that's soggy without milk. Oh, this calls for my porridge teeth. Also handy for cleaning dead flies out of the blinds. Oh well, I guess I can eat anything as long as I've got my morning rock and roll. You're listening to All News Radio. No, I'm not. Oh, yes you are. Our top story, we're changing format, and there's nothing you can do about it. I want to complain about your format change, and about the width of your doors. But mostly about your format change. Yeah, 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 take a number. Okay. Thirteen and a half. That was my favorite hat. This was my favorite radio station. Too much rock, too loud for too long. Kid, I bought this station with the money from my used car lot. Now I can advertise my cars on my radio station and play my radio station in my car. Kids don't buy cars. Kids buy Fruity Pops. I don't sell Fruity Pops. Go away. No, I won't. Note to self, get trap door that's wheelchair accessible. It's not fair, Graham Graham. They've got all Gregorian chant radio. They've got all yodeling radio. Under the B, 12. They've even got all bingo number radio. Hey, leave that on. But nothing for me and my friends. Why don't you create your own pirate radio station, like I did when I was a kid? You had a pirate radio station? Oh, you betcha. Yes, sirree, Bob. Arr, music-loving mateys. Coming at you from somewhere off the coast of Bayview. Here be Mega Dirt. I mean, arr. Why'd you stop? I developed an allergy to parrot bites. <laughs> cool. What are those things? Vacuum tubes from back before microchips. And what are those dumb-looking things? Those are your feet, goon. I'm not even sure this stuff works. It's so old, it was actually made in America. Testing? Testing? You're tuned to... Um... Radio station W-H-E-E-L. Put in the roll back in rock and roll. <laughs> Baby, hanging out at the beach, working at your weekend job, or squeezing the excess grease out of your onion rings and burger barrel. Call us up. We take requests from everyone, but orders from no one. Oh. Limit one lame boy band request per hour. And here's our first song request from Quentin in Bayview, who says... Let's hear some mega dirt. What'd you think? The very first request? Oh, I'm honored. He called you Quentin. I thought your name was Mr. Eggert, Mr. Eggert. You thought my name was Mr. Eggert, Mr. Eggert? Not Mr. Eggert, Mr. Eggert, Mr. Eggert. Just Mr. Eggert, Mr. Eggert. Hello! Bayview! The spirit of independent radio is back on the air! 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 Back
Wheel Radio. All right, so what's on your mind, baby? Give me a call. We have to do something, or that little four wheeler is going to become popular. You mean intersecting a straight line at right angles? That's perpendicular. All your radio dials have been glued to W H E E L. So what? What makes you think I did it? <gasps> what the heck are you listening to that film for? Listen to this filth instead. This is DJ Rolling P for W H E E L signing off. Gram Gram, come home. Wherever you are. Car one eleven. Suspicious man outside bank. Yeah! <laughs> Forget foreign bank robbery. Tune all cars to W H E E L. Rock and roll so good it's criminal. Ooh, I could go for a guy in a uniform. <clears throat> yeah. Darn! I was down to a size one, and I gained it all back. What do you think? I think it's strange that there's prune juice, but no raisin juice. No, about my radio station. This is a radio station. That's great, cause I got a band. Don't ask him. He can't tell you if you don't ask him. A band, Mr. Jimmy? What's its name? Glad you asked, Pelswood. We're called Smackle Frog and Beetle Grabber. Why is that, Mr. Jimmy? We figure we'll get the Beetle fans and the Smackle Frog and Grabber fans. I'm turning the lights out now. We got the name, the tour bus, the outfits, hairdos, video director. We just have to decide if it's the blue or the red candy that we don't want in the backstage snack bowls. When can we hear your tour dates announced on the radio, Mr. J? Ice cream boy, I was born to be wild. That was the Squeegees, a band made up of car wash employees from right here in Bayview. Cool tunes. So you're thinking later you're gonna do remotes and cool promo giveaways like Boyd does? Boyd? On his radio station. Boyd has a radio station? You're listening to KBULY, Bully Radio, live at Bayview Park. It's a beautiful day for humiliating small children and making girls cry. And a chicken-legged kid who looks like his mother cut his hair is up. Huh? Looks like an easy out. Oh, and the batter's pants just fell down. Strike one! And he's not wearing any underwear! I am, too! He's telling lies on the radio! Actually, he's doubling your ratings on the radio. He had the brilliant idea of broadcasting on the same frequency kids pick up with their fillings and dental retainers. Now he's being beaten up by his sister! I am not! His little sister! Strike three! <laughs> Gotta compete. I need remotes, news, and um, interviews. Pantless kids who can't bat. W H E E L. Free ice cream to every listener. Uh, who's running your radio station now? I put on some '70s art rock band. That song's got another hour and a half to go. Another drum solo, man. Yeah. It's a stop sign, goon. It doesn't change to green. <laughs> oh yeah. How would you guys like your own radio shows? Really? 
I'd finally have a form for my thought-provoking controversial opinions? Actually, vanilla ice cream isn't plain ice cream. Vanilla is a flavor. How about you, Goon? Uh, sure. Uh, Ace, can I borrow some of your opinions? And another thing. Why are they called sidewalks when they're in front of your house? Answer me that. And another thing. Why are they called sidewalks when you can run on them? My demographic research shows he's doing very well among people obsessed with sidewalks. Uh-huh. And everyone else? They're listening to the Nick and Joe show on K-Bully. You're listening to, uh, uh, the radio? And now, I'll, uh, I'll read what it says on the microphone. Uh, do not submerge in water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is so bad, it's actually good. Bad. If that's what the public wants. I know two people who are way stranger together than Nick and Joe. Wheel Radio! Take my advice with Julie and Sandra. Who's our first caller? Um, I'm having a problem with my boyfriend, and... Like, dump him! This advice thing's a snap! <laughs> this is my show too, Sandra. Perhaps I might have a word with our callers? What for? You'd, like, agree with me if you had any sense at all. Not only do I have sense, I have your chair! This is awful! Mm-hmm. But according to my limited research, based on checking ambulance radios as they drive away from Burger Barrel, we're averaging 400 extra listeners an hour. Great! I wonder who else is listening. I'm getting the legal transmissions out of... Looks like Bayview. Don't worry, sir. Our radar van will track them down and then... <laughs> You're listening to W-H-E-E-L. 24 hours a day. We never sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Going 24 hours means you've captured 100% of the overnight market. Great. Um, how many people is that? Um, you. You're the only one up that late. We have to keep making it better. We've got to stay ahead of Boyd. All right, here's the W-H-E-E-L traffic report. There's a blue car coming down the street towards me, and it's uh, slowing down. Looks like it might stop. Uh, no, wait a minute, that's my car, and it's parked in my driveway. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for filling in, Dad. Sandra and Julie are up next. Where are they? Sandra and Julie aren't here, but does anyone have a problem they want to talk about with Quentin? <laughs> a problem? Anyone? Yes, hello, what's your problem? My problem is your crummy station! Everyone listen to K-Bully instead! Now, here's some music! We've got to get a time delay. How does that work, anyway? Uh, you say things ten seconds before you think of them? You do that anyway. Call from Julie Smockford. Can't come back until we clean garage because of allergies. Call from Sandra Scottle. Won't come back until she gets hairstylist, private dressing room, sauna, sauna air conditioner in case sauna gets too hot? Oh, I wonder what Boyd's up to. It's Cape Bully Radio! Number one, or else! And here's our new advice show host, Mandra Model! Thank you, Boyd. Welcome to the Mandra Model Show. Better advice because it's not watered down by a vain know-nothing who knows absolutely zilch, but keeps hogging the mic anyway! <clears throat> Boyd, iced tea, chop-chop! She sounds familiar.
Oh man, I'm losing it here. Nonsense. It's not like you have conversations with guardian angels that other people can't see. Mr. Jimmy, I'm kind of busy. Unless you've got advice on how I can strengthen my signal or get my DJs to show up. As I was saying about my band, things are grooving, man. We had our first photo session. Picked out the height for our platform shoes. We're thinking four inches. We've hired an entourage, a manager, and an ex-manager to rip us off. We've decided what cars to buy when we're famous. I'm gonna have two. With one that only goes in reverse for backing out of the garage. Pelswick, are you listening to your own station? This is Goon Gunderson at City Hall, where federal officials are announcing a crackdown on pirate radio broadcasts. Here's a comment from a scary-looking guy in uniform. When we zero in on these perps, it's gonna be lights out. Uh, wouldn't that be sounds out? What? What are you gonna do? The important thing is not to panic. They work for the government. It'll take them weeks of highly paid overtime to track down our signal. From City Hall, this is Goose Gunderson, throwing it back to our pirate transmitter at 274 Willow Avenue, Bayview. Ah! Wheel Radio! Hurry! They'll be here any second! That was some music followed by, uh, some other music. Pull out the cord! No! We can't go off the air while Boyd's still transmitting! Pelswick, we can't go into hiding if we're attached to your house. Actually, my dad has a gas generator. We don't need the scanner. All we gotta do is follow that bozo. He'll lead us right through him. <laughs> Which way was Pelswick's house again? This house was right here. This can't be right. One of the pirate transmitters is moving. Have not. Have to. Have not. Now, here's the bully body odor taunting report. Ronald Farvich smells like garbage. The breath of Bob McClure could drive a rat out of a sewer. Radio cops! They're tracing illegal transmitters. You gotta dump this stuff. Uh-uh. The people I took this off of paid a lot of money for it. And no way am I quitting while Pelswick's still on the air. Hey, that kid Ace's father has a gas generator. Keep it tuned right here, cuz um, in the next hour, we're giving away... A thing that's kind of brown and bendy. Could be either a very old banana or a finger from a baseball glove. Which way do you live? That way. Thanks. Pathetic? Julie Smartford! Hey! This is Mandra Model saying, don't you believe it? Julie might be a hopeless jerk sometimes, but like, she's my best friend! Sid Miscobble! You're Mandra Model? This is Molly Mockford saying, Take this 
How do you like my autograph sign and pen? Enough! I give up! Just give me your single and I'll play it. We don't have a single. We still have to learn how to play our instruments. What? You've got a video director and an autograph pen and you haven't learned to play yet? You're doing it all backwards. Don't you know the music's the most important part of it? I guess I sort of forgot why I started doing this in the first place, huh? It was for the music. And that's the last tune we have time for. You're listening to Alcatraz Middle School Campus Radio. Stay right here for the Boyd Scalarzo Humiliating Gossip Hour. Then the Julie, Sandra, Nick, and Joe Confusion Hour, followed up by VP Ziegler describing his favorite socks in order of comfiness. Oh, and if anyone's seen Goon Gunderson, please report to the office. Hillswick! 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 You're way overwatering your lawn, man. Hey, fuck this. <laughs> oh, oh.